What's up everyone, it's Justin from The Shaved In again. And uh, sorry I wasn't able to, um, sorry I haven't, that I haven't been participating in the uh, reviews here in the past few days. I've been trying to get a video up for a couple of days now and it just hasn't been working for me. Uh, I used a different camera and the, uh, the coding in it messed up or something, I'm not sure the whole technical aspects. But um, I'm still trying to get it up. But, uh, so I don't think I've been neglecting you guys. This is, uh, the fourth day of the Yuma. Um, as you can tell, I'm trying to get cleaned up here. Got a fresh haircut down to stubble on the, uh, for my, I'm trying to get cleaned up for the New Year's. So, um, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Um, I got a few things, including, I. Uh, 24 millimeter mitt, well, whip dog silver tip, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, but like I said, I've been trying to get a video up for the past few days. I feel like I've been letting a lot of you guys down. So, to in order to make it up, I want to put up a challenge, an entertaining challenge. Hopefully, can this the Yuma two dollar razor? tackle this. That would be the million dollar question. Got the cell phone right here. Stand by in case I have to call emergency services. I loaded up a treat blade today. Alright, just gonna get some water on the face here. I leave a lot of water on my face because I have not shaved up here in like two months. This is a two month old beard. So, okay. I'll be using some Old Spice shaving cream. Shulton Old Spice, by the way. The real Old Spice, respectively. Um, just gonna unscrew the cap. Just gonna put a little bit in the bowl. This is a two dollar Walmart uh, Sunday dish. I put a little bit more than normal inside the bowl because I got a lot more to shave today. I'm just going to dry out the brush. I've had it soaking in the water while I was just in the shower. Let's begin lathering. This stuff smells amazing. Um, this stuff is a uh, definitely smells like the old spice that I, my grandfather wore. Still wears actually, still has a bottle of it. And um, this whip dog brush is just a lather monster. I have not tried it with soaps yet, um, but that will definitely be happening in the near future. Um, nice weight to the handle. It does not have that scratch to the bristles like um, my uh, Tweezer Man does, which is good. A little bit more water in there. It's a little bit too thick. This thing is an expert, expert, expert bowl lather. Just look at that. Look at all that in there. Okay. Well, Beard, it's been nice having you. See you again later. This stuff, this. This whipped dog is very, very soft. I've had a lot of, I've used, a, not a lot, but I've used quite a few brushes in my day. I use an Art of Shaving Fine Badger, which at the time was like over a hundred bucks. This $30 brush just absolutely murders that one. Or at least up to the same quality. Super happy with this brush. Just getting kind of really well lathered up here. This old spice just smells fantastic. Just kind of rub that in. 
I want to get down to the base of the skin so that's protected. Okay. Again, I have not shaved this area in a very long time. Well, Yuma, here we go. I've never used a treat blade before. So that's very new to me. The color of these blades really threw me off. I have uh, taken off a full beard plenty of times with a uh, safety razor. And I have to say, this works but not nearly as well as some of the others that I've used in the past. So, but, but it definitely works. It just clogs up quite a bit. Normally, I wear a goatee or a chin strap beard or something like that. This needs a little bit more. Again, I've used the safety razor before in the past to remove a full beard, but the ones that I have used are right. 20 times more aggressive, say, a core or something, something similar. Just rinsing out the sink here. We don't want to get hair clogged up down the drain. I probably should wipe this on a paper towel to be honest, but I'm not the brightest bulb in the box. And honestly, I shouldn't even be up awake right now because I just got off work recently. The chin is definitely a trouble spot for me with this razor because it's so mild. Or maybe it's the blade, I don't know. Perhaps I should have used something that I was a wee bit more familiar with. But this is stupid. Yes, I know. But, this is for entertainment purposes. Please don't try this at home. I've said it a million times. This thing is very mild, 
and then it clogs up absolutely this thing is a, a very good shaver when you don't have a two month old beer a sane person would would have um, trim this down first Honestly, I tried, y'all. I really did. I gotta do this the right way now. No more playing games. But that was just for pretty much entertainment purposes. Hair on my mouth, sorry. Now. I have to go a completely different route. I'm just making a mess everywhere today. This is probably another stupid idea, but I'll probably end up on the Guinness World Record of stupid ideas today. Sorry guys, hold on one second. Good news is I'm not bleeding yet. 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 <sighs> What's the matter with me? I just need to go to bed. Okay. Alright. Sorry. Again, I do apologize for being stupid today. This weather has gotten cold. <laughs> oh, God. I am an advocate of cold water shaving, but not stupidity. So I'm gonna wipe this on. I don't want this to get on the sink. Much better. The Yuma is it a great razor? Well, not great, but it's a good razor. If you shave regularly with this, um, however, if you get a heavy growth. Like, say, more than a week or so.